Colonel Sanders' original recipe chicken tastes the same as it did 30 years ago when KFC first came to China. But one change: the price has quadrupled. It's a Western restaurant chain, but it has carved its history into China's reform and opening up. It all began with this store in Beijing, and the fast food fast became a fashion food. The concept of fast food was so fresh back then, so we all made plans to go check it out together. At that time, going to KFC was a big deal. We went there only on certain holidays, such as Children's Day. When it opened on November 12, 1987, KFC was still known as Kentucky Fried Chicken, with its big sign telling its legacy in China. The nation's first KFC has almost become an icon for many to stop by to recall memories. 坐落在北京前门大街的肯塔基家乡鸡北京快餐店今天正式开业。This was the scene when KFC first opened in China. Back then, dining at a foreign brand restaurant was a way to show identity. Some people even had their weddings at KFC. I mean, if you think about the salary of people at that time, right? Thirty,、uh, forty yuan—that's pretty standard for a monthly、uh, paycheck. And you spend two and a half yuan on one piece of chicken. That's pretty expensive. But if you think about this, is your chance to see a foreign culture. How 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 does foreign culture look like? Feels like? Tastes like? That seems. Pretty、uh, affordable in a way. Colonel Sanders' first three decades in China has gone fairly smoothly, with a few bumps in the road. Food safety concerns have made many Chinese consumers sensitive about what they are eating. We are confident enough to open any of our kitchen to any public、uh, to come to see our kitchen to see how do we operate, how do we teach our staff to wash their hands to start with. KFC is no longer the only American fast food option for Chinese customers. As the market expands and competition heats up, restaurants are focusing on widening their range of menus and developing digital ordering and delivery platforms. Many of the efforts have to do with localizing in China. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN.